Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Every now and again, we do some videos regarding countries in the region of Thailand. Many people that come to Thailand as tourists uh, often like to go to other countries, be it Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Vietnam. Uh, even some folks like hopping back and forth, especially sort of pre-2020, they preferred hopping back and forth between Philippines and Thailand, usually spending quite a few months in both places. But the reason for this video, uh, as noted in the title, we're discussing Myanmar. Uh, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article in the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. article is titled, Myanmar military still trying to boost international tourism. Quoting directly, Myanmar authorities are persevering with attracting foreign visitors with the resumption of the e-visa and the reopening of some localities to inbound travel. Recent returnees told Padia Mail that hotel workers are optimistically joining language classes in Russian and Chinese in preparation for the expected surge in numbers expected soon. There is sponsorship of elephants to encourage foreigners to provide cash for animal welfare, not to mention huge color ads to promote temples and attractions in newly opened areas such as Yangon, Bagan, Mandalay, and the Inlet Lake. Sampan Travel, which organizes tailor-made trips to Myanmar and India, confirmed that the most important consideration was the physical safety of guests. And yeah, let me get to that in a moment. Although some commentators discourage international tourism on the grounds that the cash benefits the military authorities, tour operators stress that the people of Myanmar need financial and moral support now and that travel is a job-creating industry. Yeah, I totally get it. Uh, you know, it, I don't think it's quite an apples to apples comparison, but you know, Thailand's tour, tourism industry has really struggled uh, amidst you know, what's happened since 2020. Uh, I'm sure Myanmar is probably going through similar circumstances, so I do get their point there. But yeah, quoting this again, uh, confirmed that the most important consideration was the physical safety of guests. Yeah, the fact is there's a lot going on over in Myanmar. It's, it's kind of in a fluid state right now. And, you know, folks that are looking to go there, it's kind of one of those, you know, be prepared sort of things. I, I hesitate to say, traveler beware. I don't know that it quite raises up to that level, but um, Myanmar is definitely not in the same position it was in a few years ago with respect to, you know, the conditions, uh, again, and safety of guests is, is a primary concern when you're talking about things in a tourism context. But yeah, it does appear to be reopening again, as noted in here, the e-visa program is back online apparently. Uh, certain locations are being reopened to tourists. So overall, it looks, like, it looks like a good thing, but I think it's a good idea to be cautious for those who are looking to go to Myanmar anytime in the relatively near future.